had a few emails from people asking me uh, what registry uh, repair tool or clean the tool that I would use uh, for free um, I don't really use those uh, types of programs to be honest but um, they've asked me to give them the best freeware one well I don't know whether I can give you the exact best one because everyone's got their own preference but the one I would suggest is using um, this program here it's called uh, regsofts.com that's the website there and you can download it's called a free windows registry repair 2.0 okay uh, if you get it from the main site here you should be okay it's, it's clean there's no uh, spyware malware or anything like that built into it okay there's you've got to be careful when you're downloading these types of programs because there's loads of phonies out there that have um, packed with loads of shit basically and they infect your PC but basically uh, yeah you download it for free there anyway let's uh, remember before we start running any of these types of programs you always want to make a backup of your registry so we're just going to quickly install this here for you it shouldn't take too long it's all pretty much uh, self-explanatory okay so as you can see I've got uh, some backups here what I want to do if you want to do a backup you need to go to registry edit okay so you need to type reg edit in the run bar okay and you should do this first and uh, we'll just say yes to that okay if you don't know how to do it you can just basically come here file and export okay and then type your name in that you want say backup and then just do what you like really just save that and it will save it to your desktop and that's pretty much the whole registry backed up okay but if you watch some of my other videos you'll know how to do this and you can automate it so it does it for you um, by using uh, the programs that I've suggested anyway on with the video so now we've got our registry back up we can actually uh, clean the registry or repair the registry so let's have a little look at the options here what we've got so if you come into options there is a little uh, create a system restore point before restoring errors XP and Vista it says there it will work with Windows 7 as well so I'd suggest you do that really um, as well you might as well I'm not going to bother doing it because uh, this is just a virtual box so it doesn't really matter anyway so now we've done that I want to come to full scan but if you knew uh, the exact location that you wanted to scan you could actually just put your ticks in areas that you wanted to scan in the registry so say for instance it's in this location you was getting uh, error messages or something like that or add and remove programs is something that's not quite uninstalled properly and it's still stuck in there then you can actually come into this location here put a few ticks and then just start the scan okay that's in custom settings or custom scan I should say so let's just do a full scan anyway and let that scan up as you can see it's not as pretty as a uh, reg cure and uh, reg mechanic and fix it utilities and all stuff like that but it does what it says on the tin basically you just push push that full scan and it will scan the registry um, the reasons why I don't like using these types of programs is because it doesn't give you much control over the registry it, if you delete the wrong thing you could end up in worse of trouble that's why I suggest you back up your registry first but I've been asked to uh, give a, a free version for this type of program so I thought I'd make a video anyway I'm blabbering on now while this is scanning I'm just going to pause the video okay so that's the uh, scan finished and as you can see we have 529 errors found now the thing that amazes me with these types of programs is they always seem to find loads and loads of errors um, maybe uh, it's because you've uninstalled programs or something like that and there's loads of remnants left behind and it's found a load of dead registry keys that it doesn't use and it gets rid of them um, so I mean sometimes it could be in the thousands but anyway uh, as I said if you want to actually uh, go ahead and fix these now you can actually click on this fix errors tab here I'm not going to bother doing it because um, I don't like these types of programs but if you want to actually use that you can actually fix these errors and I do sometimes I've used them occasionally um, on really infected PCs after I've cleaned them up and they do seem to uh, clean off a lot of the dead crap out of the registry and make the system run a little bit smoother and faster so it's entirely up to you anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk 
enjoy my videos please remember hit the subscribe button and uh, show your support any comments leave them up there and I'll do my best to answer them for you better still uh, you're best off to head over to the uh, forum there and uh, like a lot of other people have done you can get that at this web address here and post all your problems on there we've, we've got some nice guys on there answering people's questions and making tutorials so thanks again for watching guys thanks for your support bye for now